Hello, hello, it's the devil. And uh, I was asked uh, how you can change uh, the amplitude presets uh, in your DAW. And of course, this works as standalone. But what I'm doing here is uh, I will be using my Novation launch key. And the trick to be able to switch uh, between presets in Amplitude is you have to send program change data. And I'll show how that works in Studio One. It should be doable in any other DAW as well. And uh, I'm doing this with the launch key because I haven't programmed my uh, self-made MIDI controller to send program change data. So that's why I'm doing it with this. And these pads don't uh, send program change uh, stock, so I will be using uh, the Novation components to do a custom set for these pads. And that's what I'm going to show now, uh, because you might have to do that with your uh, controller. And then one thing I have to mention, and this will be in the description also, uh, the VST3. Uh, no, it doesn't receive the program change messages. So if you uh, don't use the VST3 version, use VST2. And the funny thing is that on Studio One, I can't uh, get it to load up VST2. It doesn't show up on my VST list because I have the VST3 installed. So if you want to be able to uh, control the presets via uh, program change, you need to use the VST2 version. And if it doesn't show up in Studio One, you might have to uninstall the VST3 and use the VST2. And then it works. It, it was quite a hassle to, you know, find, find, <laughs> find out what's wrong and uh, get it to work. But anyway, I'm going to show how uh, these can be uh, uh, customized to send program change. So I'm in this uh, Novation Components uh, software and I'll just choose them all with shift. I can choose them at the same time. And then uh, individually I will set the number of the program change like that. This is going to be 25, uh, 26, 27, and so on. And 31. There we go. And then I can change the color of these. And then I will send it to my launch key on my custom mode one. So now when I go here, we can see uh, the colors change and I'm set to go. Uh, then let's go to Studio One and I'll show what you need to do here. So we have an audio track and the VST2 version of the Amplitude is loaded. The audio track is uh, loaded with Amplitude 5 and then we need to have a MIDI track. And the MIDI track, uh, what we want to do here is this spot here. I'll drag it a bit. So. Uh, that's what we want to change. So we want the MIDI to go into the amplitude of the audio channel. And then, of course, we can choose which device is uh, controlling it, blah, 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 all that, you know, the channel, make sure it's correct. And now our custom uh, pad uh, preset is uh, set. So, uh, and in here, we can see that the preset numbers, uh, like we have 24 is uh, Jimi Hendrix rig, uh, 25, then I have a few others. And uh, we can also go here and see the list of the program changes. And you can go on this list and then choose from any of the presets you have. And, but let's see if this works. So uh, 
when I press this pad, it should change. There we go. So now it's the darkness preset. There it's changed to the default. And now we get back to the uh, one I had. So that's the way you do it. You send program data, BSD2. This works in Ableton as well. It works as a standalone uh, really well. And of course, then uh, when we have that, uh, we could uh, do uh, write, write the automation. So we could do record a track and then uh, write automation there. So we could have the presets change during the song. And uh, I'll uh, play a little and we can hear how it works. So. Uh, So there we go. That's that how it should be working. And uh, uh, the important things was that uh, doesn't work with the VST3. Uh, worked on every DAW. Uh, so I tried Ableton Studio One. It works in Reaper. And uh, then you have to have a controller that can send. Uh, the program change and you want to of course assign the correct numbers uh, in in here so now if I would want I had to have uh, let's say uh, on my controller uh, this first pad was uh, uh, number one it sent uh, program change number one it would of course go to this one the appetite but then I could go here and I could change this uh, number one to any of my presets from from the list so I could do that but yeah that's that's how you do it I hope this helps and if any questions come up to ask you know I'll try to help help with those two but I think this should get you going so have fun and rock on all right